I stumbled upon a Goodwill. I don't know. I've never been. I don't even know where I'm at. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Good morning and good morning from Chicago. I'm a little nervous about today because today I am t taking off by myself. There's a man. There's a man up in his hotel room working at his computer desk. I don't want to show him, but I can see you, man. I hope you got clothes on. That's, that's a little weird. I mean, I'll just hang on. Let me just show you real quick. I'm not going to point out the man where he's at. Maybe you can see him, but this is my view when I'm sitting at my desk. I can see inside the other hotel rooms. That's interesting. But anyway, I'm a little nervous because I'm going to be, I got to navigate by myself out of the city, which is okay. But I mean, Mark said that the parking garage is a little weird. So you're going to go on this adventure with me. We're going to take in a little adventure to through the parking garage and out. Because we are going to go to, the first place we're going to go to is Antiques of Winfield, which is, Amy says, you got to go. It's a must go. It's a must go. So we're going to go there. But before we leave, we're going to read out of our A, a, a Year of Positive Thinking. So affirmation time. It's not a very long one, so it won't take me very long if you, for those of you that don't like the affirmations. But March 11th is choose happy. Let's be a kind, no, let this be a kind reminder that you and only you are the gatekeeper of your own happiness. Delight in that wisdom. That's pretty cool. And it's true. Only you can determine what attitude you're going to have towards things. So you might as well make it a good one. All right. I mean, even if things are driving you nuts or you've got a multitude of bad, unfortunate things that are going on in your life, you can still be the gatekeeper of how you're going to project your vibe out into the world, so to speak. All right, let's pick our daily affirmation card. I am in control of my thoughts, feelings, and choices. It goes with what I just read. That's the way that the universe works sometimes. I can't explain it, but the back of this says, you are the creator of your life. What you think about yourself becomes your reality. Be gentle with yourself, compassionate, and trust yourself. You control your reality pretty good. And it goes along with what our daily after our year of positive thinking was. So I'll stick that in there so I can make sure that I stick that in somebody's package. I did have a sale on eBay overnight and I'll pop that in right there. Even though I'm on vacation mode and so it won't get shipped until I get back, but that sold. So that's, that's great. Hopefully I'll have a couple more sales because it's going to be a little rough this week with not having any, not make, really making any money. We are going to head downstairs and I don't think I'm going to have breakfast. I did bring a half a loaf of bread and some peanut butter because I don't really want, I don't, I'm not a big breakfast eater. So I don't really want to go down and, and like spend money on breakfast. But I probably will go down and get me a Starbucks. So that I am going to do. Um, so let's go ahead and let's start on our adventure. It's going to be mainly a shopping video, so I'm going to go ahead and go so we can do some shopping today. Also, just to give you a little glimpse of, <laughs> of the mess that is me. So this is like all my little workstation. I got this for my iced coffee, which I need to make sure I take down with me. And then my laptop, my tripod, my iPad, my calendar. I do, these are the size of boxes that I need to order. <laughs> so this is going along with a video that I need to edit tomorrow. I've got pens and swag that I got from Mark's little conference floor. This is like a little 3D printed stress ball. Eyeglass cleaner. This is some lighted ball I got for Maybell. Um, peanut butter Reese's peanut butter eggs. These are our medicines, our old people medicines. Um, crackers, snacks, you know, I got, I, I, we're gamers. So I brought some Uno flip and some phase 10 just in case we're feeling a little wild and crazy. 
Um, and then my eyeglasses. This is my travel. You ready? Eyeglasses for travel. I got one. I got this pair, but it has three different magnetic frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the ones I have on eight. So eight pairs of glasses, jewelry, headbands, hair. Uh, got my dearly departed tours hat. I'll probably be wearing at some point this week. So this nice big vestibule is filled with my stuff. So anyway, all right, oh, I'm like stalling because I'm a little nervous about driving, but we're, let's get going. Let's get going. Okay, so we're, we're, um, we're attempting this exit. I didn't, the last time Mark left me to my own devices in a parking garage was in Wisconsin and I could not find the car. Oh boy, this is, this is odd. This is like a little, um, um, you, it's like a little maze. If I had a bigger car, I'd be a little bit more nervous. But anyway, I couldn't find the car when we were in Milwaukee. And he had to leave the conference <laughs> to help me. I could not find it. Oh, boy. This is like, like we're on a little Hot Wheel track. I, I wish I could turn the camera around. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. See? Okay, so we're going here. I'm going slow. Luckily, there's nobody behind me. But um, I've got my parking ticket. But you can see here. This is. Feet, turn left onto South Michigan oh, Avenue. Oh boy. At the yeah. light, turn left onto South Michigan Avenue. Then turn if right I had Congress Plaza Drive. a bigger car, I would be flipping out right now. Come on, little Buick. We can do this. I, mean, I think we're making it. On 520 South okay, well, honey, girl, I am not out of the parking garage yet. You're flopping around. Bye. Okay, it says I have to yield. rampy thing and then there have been times when I have been in parking garages where I have just gone around and round never to exit I don't do very well with parking garages I really don't okay I think I have to go down here oh this is odd three three exit lanes ahead okay well, I think we're gonna get out of this here parking this is just <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, we did it. We did it. Now I got to get my little ticket. I made it out of the city alive and in one piece. <sighs> it wasn't so bad. And I stumbled upon a Goodwill. I don't know. I've never been. I don't even know where I'm at. I'm somewhere in between Winfield, Illinois and Chicago, Illinois. I think. But anyway, we're going to go in here and we're going to see what we can find. Oh, look. We got Shenanigan Squad. That's cute. It's, that's a 2XL. I don't know about that. That seems a little... That's a baseball. Baseball one. Okay, so we're... I'm not interested in the clothes and stuff. We're going to go to... Straight to the hard goods. See what we can find. All right, we got a very squeaky cart, too. So I think I'm going to exchange my cart for one that isn't going to cause such a ruckus. Okay, I did pick up this little Corel casserole dish. My mother-in-law has this exact same pattern. And so I'm going to get that for her. 
But then I'm seeing right here, I think it's our false graph. This might be the winterberry pattern. This is uh, missing the lid. We got the cream and sugar and the salt and pepper shakers. They're 50 cents. I like this winterberry pattern. I was actually thinking about getting some of this for myself for Christmas. So I think I'm at least going to get the shakers. I wish that had the lid. If that had the lid, I definitely would be getting that. Okay, you can see here we've got some more of the wind. I believe this is winterberry false graph, but I, I don't really want the mugs. But look, we found B Bill. Bill, we found your blue jean mug that was made in a uh, happy 48th birthday for Bill. We'll put it right here next to the false graph mugs. Well, that wasn't a bad Goodwill. I ended up just getting that Corel platter, and I got a little Garfield figurine for Jaden. That was it. I, I was in there for a little while. I was I had some things in my car and I decided mm, no, no. Alright, so now we're gonna go on our now we're on our way to Antiques of Winfield. Okay, our next stop is Antiques of Winfield here in Winfield. I think this is Winfield, Illinois. But this is highly recommended by Enamor Amy, so let's go check it out. Gosh, I really like this little red metal. I don't think it's, well, wait a minute. It says Johnson's Wax. It's $24. It's a floor polish. I really like that. Like, I really like that. This is nice, too. It's $20. I really kind of like this. I think I might get this. Wow, look at this. This thing here. I don't know if it's an old medical cabinet. Or a barber's cabinet. Isn't that so cool? I love that. And then they've got it like here's the like Monopoly Monopoly pieces in here. I would love to have this as a big jewelry box. Look at these little guys. These little figures in here. Some mahjong tiles, maybe. Oh, the drawers stick a little bit though. Type blocks. Yeah, little type blocks in there, photos, maps, Scrabble. It's really pretty neat. And then I noticed Infant of Prague. You are. You are the you're the infant of Prague planter for ten dollars. You're missing your little finger. Your finger's been been uh, re glued back on, but it's pretty neat. Not bad price though, even with that damage for $10. Oh my gosh, look at this can. This is a moth killer, but it's Scram. It has paradichlorobenzene. I just love these. It's $6. They're moth nuggets, but it'll kill them. But look at her. Oh my gosh, I just love her. Isn't she precious? She's $50, but boy, she is amazing she's got her little corn and then hi girl oh are you Czechoslovakia this one's blue it's not marked Czechoslovakia it's probably Japan but it's a little hummingbird I think oh look at these this jewelry and this big light look at that little the little wishnik troll back there hey buddy they got beautiful pieces of jewelry look at those big Bakelite bangles. So their rings are gorgeous too. $23 for their ring does not seem like that bad of a price. I can't see the price. $29. I don't know for sure that they're Bakelite. Just up on looking at them, they look to be. But now I can see why Amy recommended this place. It's pretty amazing. There's all kinds of fun stuff to look at. And it's all curated so nicely. And the prices are not bad at all. So, so far, so far, so good. Look at these little buddies. Oh my gosh, they're little hound dogs. They're $14, a little big mama and a little squatty and a little squatty buddy. Those are adorable. I love those. I am gonna get those. And then there's this little guy too. Made in Japan for $10. He's very lustery. This is a great setup here for St. Patrick's Day, which is this weekend, so I'm not going to get a lot of stuff for St. Patrick's Day, but I will show you. I did pick up this little butter dish. 
with the bee. I love these. It was nine dollars. Another Nestler egg. A black flower frog. Susie goes shopping. That's full of like little paper money. And a book of puns. I don't know why. I thought maybe they'd be fun to read <laughs> every once in a while. So I'm gonna put these in my basket. All right. So we're gonna walk downstairs. I did just drop off my basket and I got a empty one. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is an amazing curated mall. Yeah, Amy was like, it's a must. It's a must. You must go here. So I'm glad that she recommended it because so far, so good. And like, look at all that stuff back there. We're going to peek in here first. Oh, I see Rimple. I see a Rimple. are you? $28. I already have you. I have a little bit of collection. I got plans. I got plans with my rimples. Oh, get back up there. And I also see this little Saturday angel with her little duster. She's $19. It's not one I see very often. I love the graphic on this. This is a little pint ice cream. French ice cream that has a great graphic on it and it is six dollars and you can see what they've done if they they're using books you can use books to make your little risers we got a gilner pixie back there for 24 treasure craft one here we got care bears but they've got a lot of fun things in this booth i barely even scratched the surface of things to see i see mary back there an old-timey phone <laughs> oh look at that deer that is a planter at $70 I don't see that one very often and look at all the deers up here deers 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 oh dear I mean the amount of great Easter things are so great look at that big that is a huge I'm gonna check that out that I don't know if it's a nestler egg but there's um, kind of the newer ones here. I love this guy. He's 44 with that hot pink. And then I did get a few more things. And she's already taken my um, my basket again. But I was going to get this little girl. I believe that she is Joseph. She's a sweet little. I just love these kinds of things. And look at this card. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's on baby's first Easter. Oh, that's adorable. Boobaloo baloobies. On that little shot glass. And oh, look at that little screaming deer. Oh, I love it. Potato chip cans. And there's a food dog. Perpetual calendar that's missing some pieces. 20 library books for boys and girls. There is just, this is just like a feast for the eyes. This bar cloth here, that's amazing. And all of this Easter right here. It's just everything that you, I mean, it's just everything that you can imagine is is right here. But, ugh. Look at even this creepy bunny head. You're rimple. You are a rimple squeak. You're, you're all seized up, but you got good collar. He's $14. See, he's rimple. He probably has to lean on something. I doubt that he stands real good on his own, but that's a treat. This booth here has some amazing, look at, look at that handy sprinkle can. It's 44. And then we've got some Holt Howard cheese shakers. They're 48 and I love those. Those are all 26 or those are both 26. And then those little bagels, those are cute too. They got a lot of nice things. Like, look at these little pixies and these bunnies here. And those guys are 115. The long neck deer are 59. Look at the little mini terrarium. And the anthropomorphic shakers up there. And look at this little guy. How cute is he in that card? And dinkity dinkity docket. But it has no hankies inside. It's $9.95. I really like that. Uh, tea time train. That is adorable. It's $68 firm. Oh man, it 
just got a lot of great pieces in here. Well, look at all of this Easter gloriousness. Oh, it's Grumpy Easter Bunny Planter. He's one of my favorites. It says as is. He must have a boober on him somewhere, but that's Grumpy. Grumpy. Look at his teeth. He's got human teeth. That's one of my favorite, favorite molds. And oh my goodness, look at this bunny. That's a look there. That is for 22. <sighs> okay, Antiques of Winfield was great. It was great. But now I'm going to go into Antique and Chic, which is just right, like, right down the road. Antiques of Winfield is right there, and Antique and Chic is right here. So we are going to see what we can find in here. The reviews looked good. But this is not one that Amy recommended necessarily, so I don't know. I'm sure she's been in here, but we'll see. We'll see what we can find. So there are three levels in this little house, so we'll take a peek and see what we got. Oh, look at this little bunny. Whee! This is different. This little Fenton milk glass with that hand painted with the emerald crest that's beautiful and it is 40. oh there's just treasures everywhere oh look at the baby shakers they're 32 for the little baby head shakers you're viking little bear the single man's indispensable what is that the guide and handbook okay there's a Mago. I think that's what Majo, Magia, Magio. Big gorilla. Look at this guy. He's had a little too much to drink. This little raggedy Andy. He's a bank. Remove your head. You remove his head to take out his coins. He's $17. Remove head to extract the coins. Purple bunny popcorn, eighteen. Let's head up, we'll head up the stairs and see what's going on up here. Oh, look at the little Arnard. Well, I don't know if they're That's which is always where my mind goes. Thirty-nine fifty. We've got the cow with the bell and the cow with the bow tie. And I also like this guy. He is a sand or an hourglass. These are great. He's $15. These are great too to have like a whole shelf full of these fun little hourglass sand timer things. There's well, I just left Antique and Chic here in Winfield and I ended up getting a lot more Nestler eggs. These have never even been opened before. I did get a bigger one here and then look at her. Hi everybody. Misty rescued me. I don't wear pants. I don't wear pants, but I got my scarf and shoes on. That was only $3. That's so cute. All right, so now I'm going to, now I'm gonna decide where I'm going. I think that there is another place that I wanted to go that was a little bit of a drive. So we'll figure that out. And um, I need probably gonna have to go through a drive-through or something and get me a little something to, to, to eat because I'm a little hungry. I didn't eat breakfast this morning. So, okay, onward. Okay, so we are now at America's Antique Mall, which I don't think this place has been open very long and it is huge. And the parking lot is quite full. So we'll see. I don't know what to expect, but we'll find out. Wow, like over there is all cases. So I guess we're just gonna start on this side. Let's see, see, this looks like new things. I'm hoping that that's not gonna be the case. The sign does say antique mall. I don't see any antiques there. So hopefully, hopefully it will be able to find some. Okay, 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 so we'll see. We'll see. I mean, some of these things are newer. Like, those are new. 
Oh, here's a snow bunny. I know this is a new thing too, but it's $29. But I love the snow bunnies. I think that they are adorable. There's another one, so cute. Oh, look at little Joseph. This one goes with the little nurse. The Joseph original, it's $9. Freeze dried candy. <laughs> they even got a neon sign. Well, looky here. We've got peach rings. How much are they? Ten dollars. This freeze dried candy is not. It is not cheap. Jolly Ranchers. That they they named them Happy Happy Ranchers instead. Happy Ranchers. Let's see what else. These are good. I've had these before. These are the um, little nerds. Oh, here are sour gummy worms freeze-dried. Oh, here's smaller bags. But man, I don't want a small bag. I want a big bag. Look at this booth. We've got Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Oh my gosh, those are cute. You get the three of them for $48. This is a cute booth. This is my kind of stuff. And this all kitschy stuff in here. There's some Vantelgen. Oh my gosh, look, I've, I've got this. I, I have the plates that match this. Oh my gosh, this is $45. Okay. I didn't realize. Um, maybe I need to look at mine a little bit closer, I guess. We've got our little bride and groom. Oh, she's cute. This little sugar. She's 20. She's cute. Look at her. She's salt and pepper shakers. This is pretty, too. Little bluebirds there. This little girl, she's Thursday's angel. She's like, I'm out of here. I got my suitcase. She is. Oh, how much are you, girl? $14.95. She's pretty cute. My gosh, this. These Shirley Temple dolls. Wait, she's she looks normal. She's got red eyes. So does her sister down here. Red eyes. That girl's done fell fell over back there, but those are a little odd. But oh look at Jack Russell. Aw, Maybell. Well look at this book selling dead people's things it inexplicably true tales of vintage fails and objects of questionable estates <laughs> selling dead people's things i mean i guess that's kind of what we're doing not all the time some sometimes these people are still alive Ooh, look at you you're 48 dollars. i'll show you my cart i haven't been filming the entirety time that I'm in here because that will take me so long because this place is huge. But let me show you really quick what what I did get. Um, I'm hungry, so I got snacks. I got a cookie and I got this and I got this little Dresden lace girl. She is marked uh, Ireland's Irish Dresden lace. Um, look at this. I got this for $10. This bag filled with celluloid. I think there's four of them in here. Four or five of them in there. These little pink salt and pepper shakers with the rhinestone eyes. Uh, there were 12. I got a pretzel. Look, it's a snack hound. And it's complete. It's got his tail and his ears and everything. And then I got her. She is six. She's a little May angel. And then a the little telephone girls. So that's what I've gotten so far. But I don't think I've even scratched the surface of this place because it is quite, quite large. But it is very much a combination between newer things and older things. So um, it's, I guess, something for everybody that keep people entertained. You know, all members of your family. If they don't like looking at all the old vintage stuff, they could find some newer things as well. So it's great. This is a really, really, really nice, nice, nice place. America's Antique Mall was great. Like I said, there was a lot of, there was a big, a mixture between old and new. Um, so I pretty much showed you everything that I got. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff, but um, it, it was so nice and clean. So highly recommend if you're going to be in this area to do that. So now is the trek to make it back to the city. It is 419. Oh, then DJ, and then the- Sorry, I had to mute my audiobook. 
and I'm a little nervous. I think going, since I'm going into the city, it won't be as bad, but I'm probably going to get there right at five o'clock. Dang it. Which is not what I wanted to do. So, wish me luck. Well, I made it back to the room unscathed. I did it. Um, there was quite a bit of, I was in a crawl of traffic. I kind of thought that going into the city at five o'clock wouldn't be as bad. I figured most people were trying to come out of the city. I was wrong. I was real wrong. But we did it. So it was a fun day. Mark and I just went down and had dinner. And he is in another one of his little conference things. Uh, like an evening conference. Um, I got a little Jack and Coke. And I have onboarding for VAMP at 7 o'clock. So in 10 minutes. So I'm going to get ready for my meeting. And then I have another meeting in the morning. And I think tomorrow I'm going to stay at the hotel and edit videos and just kind of just kind of have a, a quiet day, quiet day at home. Um, so that was today's video. Thank you guys so much for coming with me tomorrow. I honestly don't know that I am even going to be vlogging tomorrow. I probably won't. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I probably won't. I'm probably just going to be editing tomorrow. Um, so make sure that you are subscribed to the Misty Show because there's going to be a lot of new content coming up over there. And then I will be vlogging on, um, I'm going to be doing some content, some travel vlogging, I, I do believe, on some with some museums that I'm going to go to. And so I'm really excited about it. But thank you guys so much for going along with me today and keeping me company. I really do appreciate you. And make sure that you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Hello friends, thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern, right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the virtual antique marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.